Uh, hello, this is Joel, and welcome to the 11th video in my Fallout 4 playthrough series. Um, gonna do a couple of side quests real quick here before we continue on with the main quest in the next uh, video. Um, first one, this guy Sheffield right here. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Or it is something. Need a new Coca Cola. Museum of Witchcraft near Salem. New Coca Cola. He needs a. Can't li drink liquor no more. Hey, Sheffield. Thirsty. New Coca Cola. You know what? Uh, give me new Coca Cola. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. And, uh. Actually. I think I have the radio on. Let me turn this off. Okay, Don't there we go. walk outside the wall undefended. Shut up. High quality protection for sale. Okay, um, and then hey, you talk to him. What do you think about you the work for me? Tour for you. Really? You, you mean it? Sure, That's why not? right. Um, I, you know, I, I, don't, I guess he becomes a settler at one of your settlements. Uh, I think I'll send him to Starlight just because I actually don't have anyone there. Maybe I should build some stuff. Anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Send him to start the drive through. Okay. Well, I mean, that's as far as I know, that's it with Sheffield right now. I'm, I'll, you know, maybe there's other requests for him dealing with him later. But anyway, the other quest I'm gonna do is I was just kind of walking around, and all of a sudden this quest pops into my inventory. Um, you know, it said just go to uh, the dugout inn. And talk to the dean. And so I, I, I happened to be by there before, and we're just walking past him. It, it went to the second part. But anyway, uh, quest is called Confidence Man, and uh, got to come here and talk to the dean. And if I remember right, he's uh, kind of hiding in the storeroom over here. There we go. And here's the name. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. <laughs> Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. Uh, <laughs> I love that where he's he's talking to me and then for unlike my deadbeat, he just yells it to make sure his brother hears that part. So the brother probably had no idea what the rest of it he said was, but he heard the deadbeat brother. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so... Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. <laughs> Ever been in one? That definitely sounds like a uh, stereotypical drunk Russian solution to the problem of lack, lack of confidence, is to win a bar fight. Uh, by the way, Travis is um, the guy on uh, Diamond City Radio. The one that's like really wishy washy. I haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh, I want to stage fight here in Dugan. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Sure. I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up, and it will go well. Promise. Uh, the first time I did this quest, um, I wasn't watching the health of the guy I was fighting, and and I figured, well, okay, well, it's just a... Okay, I accidentally killed one of the people he hired to come and fight with me, so you need to not do that. So, when his health, when the person you're punching at, his, their health gets low, stop punching him, because then when you move on to the next, second part of the quest chain... Uh, Vadim is like, you know what, try not to murder anyone next time. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see, after 6 o'clock, so 7 hours, and we'll just wait here. 
do 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 hey okay and there's Scarlet and that's uh, I think that's Bull he's actually one of the guys that got hired to pick on Travis where's Travis Travis is coming in Uh, Travis kind of, I don't know why his voice, I guess, reminds me of a cross between Ray Romano and Jerry Seinfeld. I'm, just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? You tell him. Everyone's a critic. I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Hey there, pal. Oh, what's oh, wrong? It's you. Not so tough once you're not on the air. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because, no. It is not. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. <laughs> I, I take it back. Ray Mo Romano is nowhere near as whiny as that. Why not stand up to them? No. I mean, no. That would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up! <laughs> Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend. Oh, you know what? I probably should unequip my gun <laughs> before this fist fight starts. Here. <laughs> security! 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 Keep security out here! Damn! Oh, I better not punch him again. He's almost dead already. Um, I don't want to kill him. I did that once before. I did not mean to do that. Hey, there security. we go. Security. Security. Hope I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of blood all over the Travis. place. Why am I doing this? Ever seen a Meyer lurk? Think a crab cross with the tank. This is so such bad. a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Hey, Travis. Whoa. There we go. I can't believe it. We did it! How do you feel now? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that uh, was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should go lie down now. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's Vadim? Here we go. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for the next part of full group plan? Sure, why, why not? More, more fighting? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. <coughs> now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Uh, sure, why I not? I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. 
Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see drugs, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? You know, it was a lot easier when someone would just say, go hire her, hire the guy a hooker. <laughs> of course, that never really worked anyways. But at least then they got laid. You might still lack confidence, but at least you're a well-laid, uh, uh, unconfident person. <laughs> Alright, so let's go find uh, Scarlet. And... Nice hat. She's over here somewhere. As soon as you walk over this area for the first time, the mayor starts giving his giving his speech. Uh, you know, there was an article saying that there might be synths all over the place, and he basically gives a, a speech saying, "I am not a synth." And you know, when I first heard it, I remember thinking he reminded me of Richard Nixon doing his "I am not a crook" speech. I am not a synth. <laughs> I need That's a horrible Richard I'm Nixon impersonation. Right I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Really? Did he, did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah. Absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? <laughs> I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Yes, you can. Bribe. <laughs> I'll just pay her to sleep with him. No. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Hooray! Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not... A synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy I who grew up on these streets, who was born I, in the shack. I wish he had his arms up and two fingers raised on each hand, just like Richard Nixon did when he said, I'm not a crook. That would have been awesome. But anyway, okay, so we're heading back to the dugout inn to talk to Vadim and let him know that we managed to get Travis laid. So here we go. Oh, get wait. used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like hey, I do. You feel? This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. We've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed them money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. You know what? He did owe them money. They did have a deal. And I should probably leave Vadim to his fate. He should have paid him like he promised to. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Okay, let's go talk to Travis. And find out where Benim is. Probably nothing. Some guy came into town. We're distressed call in the Cambridge ruins. Cambridge. Cambridge. I don't remember where Cambridge is. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was the start of the Brotherhood of Steel Quest. I already did that. Cambridge Police Station. Why is it still saying that? Oh, yeah, because the, the thing is still going. Where's Travis? Travis. This is a radio station. Where's he at? You need something, Scaver? Scaver? Not even sure what that means. Oh, here he is. Alright. Hey there. 
What's going on? Uh... I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. Um... I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh... Oh, man. Wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. Yeah, yeah it's Vadim's fault. If I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm going to help get him back. Her. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Alrighty, Beantown Be Brewery. Uh, weapons, let's go ahead and... Combat shotgun out, and I went and got the Beantown Brewery as a travel location earlier because I knew it was going to be doing the video. So here we are. That's the Ripper. It's kind of goofy looking. What handheld weaponized chainsaw? He's not here yet. Dad, I guess I'm, I'm going too fast. Uh, let's see if he's inside. I don't think so. When I did the quest before, he was standing outside the door waiting for me. Okay, there we go. Stimpak. Do you have a gun? I don't see a gun. Okay, let's move on. Alright, let's get my inventory sniper rifle, because. Uh. <coughs> Oops. Someone's coming across the bridge. Scared, huh? Don't run out there, dumbass. Come out and loot everyone later. I think that's everybody. Okay. Hey. 
Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. Yeah, you're an idiot. You're an idiot for dealing with these goons in the first place. Fine. Was not smartest move ever, but all is better now. <laughs> these idiots had caps and gems just lying around. <laughs> They... they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I... I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Okay. So, we've rescued Vadim. <clears throat> Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly. You know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Hooray! Okay, um, well, that's a completion of uh, Confidence Man, so, uh, there you go. Um,. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'm gonna loot the uh, loot the building and make sure I cleared out all the bad guys here. Uh, a couple things I want to show you. One, I just picked up the uh, the beer recipe. It was on a uh, a thing right here, um, probably in let's see, miscellaneous. Gwinnett Brew recipe. There it is. There you go. So anyway, going to approve a recipe is there. Uh, and there's a magazine right here, Picket Fences. Hell yeah. Take. And, um, let's see. On the terminal. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, it's in order. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna go through these, and if you wanna read them, feel free to uh, pause it. So basically, it's uh, raiders fighting between themselves. He does say that uh, he put um, this red sister in one of the brewing vats, so I'll have to look around and see if he, he can find her body here or not. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video, and uh, uh, in the, the next video, I'll be continuing on with the main quest uh, storyline or main storyline quest chain. Um, this is Joel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk at you soon. Peace.